it was noticed that uh, decision making in the wash sector was becoming uh, difficult uh, because there was no robust uh, information management system that could be relied on for decision making. The information that was there generally was paper based, was also scattered within various departments such as the Ministry of Health, such as VDF. This then led to the development of uh, the rural wash information management system whereby all wash infrastructure uh, at community level, that is the boreholes, uh, the latrines, were input into a system and that system uh, is web based. It used to take more than seven days, even three weeks, for a hand pump to be repaired. But now, after the RIMS SNR uh, system, it's, it, only, it doesn't take more than a day. The focal person at a pohol who becomes a key informant relays information through to other interested parties through an SMS system from a phone, any type of a phone. It's unlike the tablets, specialized tablets that are being used by the enumerators, but this one it only uses a phone, any type of a phone. They log in, then they can communicate free of charge. Then they report the poles if they are broken down. The village pump mechanic is also connected to the same system. And uh, there are various village pump mechanics within a village. When that message comes in, there is computation. The slower a VPM res response, the higher the chances others take up the job. Hence, it has reduced the downtime, we call it downtime, the period between the breaking down of the pole and it's being resuscitated. Before the rims, SNR used to travel a lot from one water point to another to, for, to gather information concerning that water source. But through the rims, SNR, you, you are now getting the information from the, the key informants. So it less costs in terms of uh, traveling and hence in terms of fuel. You find out before that, maybe per month I would need about 30 liters to cover the, the, my, my, my catchment area. But through the introduction of the RIMS SNR, I'm now at 15 to 20 liters a month. And through these water sources, the, we find out that the under five, even the pregnant women, they are benefiting from these water sources. And in some areas where the, the yields of the water sources is high, they are having a nutritional gardens, which also boost the nutrition status within the communities we are saving. <laughs> three kilometers Fukamapara. And also for the school children, we notice that time wasted in walking or time wasted in moving from one point to another looking for water has been reduced because of the availability of an efficient uh, information management system. Also on the sanitation aspect, you notice that um, more real-time information is available for decision making. 